This is Carnival Ron. Music has always been an important part of my life. You might get the idea from the band posters hanging on the wall behind me. In 2018, I went to a few concerts and I saw 53 bands. I remember sitting in front of the TV in the early 1950s, singing along to Pampo Shampoo commercials at the top of my lungs. I developed into a classical music lover in elementary school because one of the teachers played classical music during class. In the 1960s, I would watch on TV the Boston Pops concerts led by Arthur Fiedler. Then in 1970, I watched a performance on TV of Schumann's Fourth Symphony, which led me to listen to nothing but classical music for a solid year. Then I discovered the Austrian art song composer Hugo Wolf, and I heard similarities in keys and structure with what I heard on the radio. I listened to one Wolf song, and then I played the entire Abraxas album by Santana. They had the same song structures and key changes, and this opened up the world of popular music for, for me. But before that, I remember a band in the 1960s called the Yardbirds. They formed in London in 1963. The core of the band was lead singer and harmonica player Keith Relf and drummer Jim McCarty. During its life, the Yardbirds brought to prominence three guitarists, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Jimmy Page. Like a lot of the 1960s English bands, they started as a blues band, then progressed to pop, psychedelic rock, and early hard rock. Clapton joined the band in 1963. He played guitar on the top 10 hit, For Your Love, but wanted to play blues. So he left in 1965 to join the John Mayall and Blues Breakers band. Clapton left the Blues Breakers in 1966 to form the band Cream, and Cream broke up in 68. The band, or the song, Sunshine of Your Love is typical of their style. In 65, Clapton was replaced by Jeff Beck. One song from this period is Over, Under, Sideways, Down, which was credited as, as being composed by all the band members and released in 66. I remember this song playing on my transistor radio, which I carried everywhere. Keith Ralph and drummer Jim McCarty were beginning to write more of their own songs. When Jeff Beck left in 1966, he was replaced by Jimmy Page, who had performed live with the Yardbirds. Ralph and McCarty left the Yardbirds in 1968 due to creative differences with Page. With all the original Yardbird members gone, Page brought in Robert Plant, John Paul Jones, and John Bonham. They toured Sweden to fulfill contractual obligations under the name the New Yardbirds. Once back in England, Page changed their name to Led Zeppelin, and a song off their first album is Good Times, Bad Times. Keith, Ralph, and Jim McCarty wanted to go in a new creative direction of a more classical folk and progressive rock sound. So they began the band Renaissance in 68. Several versions of Renaissance recorded two albums, and then Ralph and McCartney left the band. The folk song Whittacum Fair is an example of that early style. In 1972, the membership of Renaissance stabilized around lead singer Annie Haslam, Michael Dunford, John Tout, John Camp, and Terry Sullivan. Ashes Are Burning is typical of their classical style. When I saw them at the Boulder campus of the University of Colorado in 1974, they performed Ashes Are Burning as the last song of their set. In 1977, McCarty formed the band Illusion, which was the name of the second Renaissance album. It featured Jane Ralph as lead singer, who was the sister of Keith Ralph. McCarty was also featured as lead singer and primary songwriter. The song Madonna Blue is off their 1978 self-entitled album, Illusion. Then in 1983, Box of Frogs was formed by McCarty and other former members of the Yardbirds. They released two albums. Jeff Beck, Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page performed on several of the songs, and the song Trouble is one of my favorites. 
Now I hope you enjoy listening to those songs as much as I do, and below are links to each of their songs. Thank you, I appreciate this.